everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is the explanation for our new tool, how to use it and what options are there for you. So we are looking forward to seeing what you're going to create and feel free to tag us or drop any questions that you have. So here we have the folder structure. The tool will create this folder in your desired location. Your next step will be to add the character asset under blend shapes neutral as shown here. So let's import these assets into the scene to check what we're working with. Since this is our internal character, the retopology process was very precise and thorough. We can see that the assets like I shell, I edge, and I right, I left fit perfectly with other geometry. And we don't have any issues with the geometry here. I'm reviewing everything to ensure that I can proceed with the next steps. Rotate your character, make sure these assets are correct. We also have many other folders that will come in handy later on, as this was created with a pipeline in mind, keeping everything organized and in one place. For example, there are folders for input data, such as scans and retopology, which contain cleaner or adjusted data, textures, shapes, and so on. Next, you can pick the project you want to dive into and select the character you're working with. Since one project can have multiple characters, if you're working with a new project, just give it a name along with your character and hit the setup button. Plus, you can easily rename and tweak your project and character names whenever you feel like it. Let's head over to the Character Prepare tab for the next part. Here, you can either load a standard MetaHuman, male or female preset DNA file, from our sample files or use your own custom DNA file. If you select the radio button and also load a custom DNA file, the custom one will take priority for the character setup. Next, click on editing mode and your character will be prepared automatically. During this step, you can double check the joint positions and make any manual adjustments if needed. This is especially handy if you're working with humanoid characters that have different facial structures than standard humans. It's a crucial option if you plan to create LODs, typically used in games. Once you're happy with everything, click on prepare character, and this process approximately takes from one to two minutes. After preparation, you'll have a complete scene where you can make manual adjustments with everything connected to the rig, plus all the LODs are included. Your character is now ready for blend shape adjustments, and you can control the character directly from the GUI. Make sure to save your C now. You will need it later.